clumsily laying off to the side. You might have to cut one of the nylon strain reliefs to be able to get enough slack in the bundle to remove the front panel. Don't lay the panel on top of the unit because of course that aluminum will short out. So you want to just be alert and just lay the uh, uh, pan front panel off to the side. And remember it will be joined near the, the wire bundle comes out near the power switch. And there's only like a couple of inches. Now, uh, sometimes with the front panel off, you can, uh, if you're careful, you can uh, uh, observe the wheels and uh, work with the interlocks. This is sort of optional, and it's only, I, I would actually uh, not do it, but I do. Okay, here are the... Uh, uh, capstan belt uh, notes. One is again. This is I've already shown this slide. It's the uh, the motor brass pulley has a, a black standoff that only gives you about a sixteenth of an inch to get that belt in. I already mentioned that, but I just thought I'd mention it. And then there's a treble screw for that rear face plate. And you take the magic. Uh, there's a small panel on the bottom that you flip the unit over and there's an access panel that will allow you to get to one of the triple screws. And again, these are the other three belts. The one, uh, the tape counter belt on the right is not shown. It's easy to get to. But the, this discusses the BT belt and the uh, and what and one of the counter belts. And these are the cap stands. But this slide is here because uh, if you have a bad TU pulley, a TU belt, uh, the supply reel or the uptake uptake reel will not rotate fast enough. If it eats tape, then you've got to uh, dig. You've got to take the, those capstan wheels off and unravel the tape. I'll discuss that later. And again. Uh, this is just the uh, uh, BT belt and counter one of the counter belts. And again, the other counter belt is off to the right to the pulley that is, and it goes to the tape counter, which has a Hall Effect magnet sensor. And just by moving it a little bit, you can keep the unit from going into, into tape and popping out of play, which is kind of annoying. At first I thought it was a problem. Uh, it's just a behavioral thing that uh, you get used to. And there's the, the belt drawing again. Uh, and remember the TU pulley uh, moves slightly to the left when you're in reverse capstan mode using the left capstan with the left uh, reel becoming the left uptake reel as shown in the uh, uh, diagrams earlier. Uh, now I'm going to go to some uh, uh, this was shown to I was hoping you could see the tape counter it's to the left of the uh, mechanism or right at the edge of the mechanical mechanism which is on the right here see and this is what it looks like with that with the faceplate removed. And be gentle pulling the knobs off of the shafts. Uh, they, they just pry off. Uh, just I remember the first time they were really stuck on there, but just be patient and work them loose so you don't damage the knobs. This is, the, this is how I found out about the Hall Effect Magnet. And it's just, you just wiggle it with your finger. You don't even have to rotate it. But as long as it's in motion, the unit will not pop out of play mode. Uh, so there's a brief, it goes on into uh, debugging the end of tape, but the hall sensor is what's important. Uh, next slide. Okay. Here I'm telling you uh, if. If the TU belt is bad, it's you're going to eat tapes. That's it's it's uh, and maybe if it's the t the TU belt is is loose. Mine was deceptively slack. 
It appeared to be doing its job, but it wasn't, and the reverse capstan will eat tapes before the forward capstan does. And it's just because the uptake reel isn't turning and the capstan wheels are. So as you might guess, you're just gonna it's just gonna feed that tape through at 15 inches per second, and they're gonna just wrap around these capstan wheels. And what you do is you pull these wheels off and you can untangle the tape. Uh, it, the the uh, and it's a lot better than just yanking the tape out and 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 because it'll leave pieces wedged in the wheels. The we, these these capstan wheels have to turn freely, and if and the only way to get the tape out of them is to uh, remove them. And uh, you'll need an Allen tool for the lock washer on the on the brass nut. Uh, I was lucky enough to have one that fit. You might be able to just twist the nut back on there. I was even using uh, uh, fingernail polish. But the, the, the smart way is to uh, adjust the uh, lock nut. Uh, now the other belts are trivial. I bought an assorted uh, uh, I bought assorted rubber bands. I had no trouble finding ones that had the right length. Uh, they're usually about uh, four inches, under four inches. Uh, but you, but I replaced the counter belts, the TU belt, and the rewind belt with just common rubber bands. Works great. And just as a warning about, because uh, I. To make a custom rubber band, you have to uh, cut the uh, band and adjust the length. And you can't melt the ends together. It's thermoplastic. It'll just stay in like a, it's like a, uh, uh, like paint that hasn't dried. Once it gets hot, once you apply flame to uh, these rubber bands, they lose their uh, elasticity and they just become real mushy. So it's more like uh, paint with paint thinner mixed in. Okay, so what I do is I take one of my belts that are too long, rubber bands, and I bring it, I thread it through, and I just pinch it at the top. And then I take a Sharpie and I mark it. Then you can cut it and use, and you use super glue. I found, I love this, Elmer super glue. It's a $1.70 for three tubes, uh, it's as good as the Duro Super Glue, and and it will glue the rubber band seam. You can basically make your own custom rubber bands, your own custom CT F750 capstan belts, and uh, so that belt is actually a six-inch band. It's actually like cut. It's 12 inches long. And it's about three thirty seconds short of a foot, and that should give you the right tension for your uh, 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 usage. Now, you got to keep your finger away from the glue. You'll it'll look great, but your fingers will be stuck, and you're going to maul that rubber band, and you're going to maul that seam when you try to get your fingers away. So you got to use uh, you just pin the the band down on on wood and then you can glue it and use tweezers to keep your fingers out of the way final note this is where I am on mine my motor is worn and when I hit the uh, power interlock it won't spin unless I twist the brass uh, uh, pulley or turn the cap stands then it starts to work so I'm going to try to redo the brushes or uh, buy a new motor. So I've got to fix the motor on mine. And I'll leave you with the picture of the speed adjustment. If after you've changed your belts, your speed is not quite right, you can adjust a set screw on the motor as shown. Uh, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, I hope you get your unit fixed.